job everywhere if you don't have the experience right and um, three years we come right and they still doing some things not in their field you know and their le and also their English their English is not at the level that you can work for corporate right and even myself now if I want to climb up in the corporate ladder I still can't compete with a local person at that level if I want to be I'm looking at, at the the head of a region yeah the language is still not enough now I might not say the language it's more about the social knowledge That's true. social knowledge social knowledge my communication can be up to their level but because the lack of social knowledge just can't just can't help me to be able to communicate with the CEO level. That's true. Yeah. So talking with you guys and I think the 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 you know younger generation now you guys I'm so so happy that like talking to Tung to about the, the the gardening and like he just researched himself and talking to Peter about you know the food and healthy way you guys just go out of your boundary and research what you really interested in but back then when I studied high school all I know is just three things math, physics and chemistry <laughs> nothing else even music even sport my, my parents I was really into sport and they was afraid that I become a, a professional athlete. <laughs> and they stopped me. They banned me from joining all the competition. Just study. So just just study. It was yeah, like dark days for me. So now that you have internet, you've got the source of everything, try to enrich your social knowledge. Not because you want to to, to climb up in the corporate ladder, but to be able to share the knowledge, to be able to have a conversation with everyone and anyone. Yeah. It's about knowledge, not language. That's right, that's right. The social, the, the, the general knowledge. Yeah. That's true. To, to create a conversation, because if you can't have a conversation, you just can't build a relationship. You just can't build the, the um, the connection. So I chose not to climb up the, the corporate ladder uh, because I think if I climb up in that level I will lose time with my family. Yes you can get more in terms of income but then I will lose time with my family. So I choose to stop there and searching for other things. And then just surprisingly, my husband tried to lose weight. Now, he was really thin when I <laughs> met him, like was really thin. But then he got sleeping problem uh, during the year that we were in the US. And he started eating at night. Because mm. when like 12 o'clock you can't sleep, you got hungry, you <laughs> eat. He gained so much weight, and when we returned to Australia, he tried all he can to lose weight, all sort of exercise, diet, didn't work. And then he just stumbled into a book called Sweet Poison. It talks about what sugar is and what is in fact our health. And then that's what the turning point for us to... to um, to start with our healthy life. So sugar. we yeah, we remove sugar from our life. Of course it's not easy mm -hmm. yeah. because every every single thing we eat got sugar. And in that book he actually compare sugar addiction and heroin addiction. It's actually harder to um, to, to quit it. sugar yeah. than to quit heroin. Mm -hmm. 
because sugar is just everywhere. Heroin, you have to suffer. Yep, the sugar is available everywhere. So, uh, sugar was the first thing, and then because sugar, we don't want to intake too much sugar, we read ingredients of everything, every food we eat, and we just feel good. Callum just naturally lose weight, not doing any more exercise. Mm. He lost about eight kilograms. Wow. Mm. Yep. Just losing, just by quitting sugar. And then one day I said, all right, so we read ingredients of everything we eat. How about the stuff that we use, like the moisturizer, the conditioner, the shampoo? And then I just pick up a, a um, bottle and I started to look at the ingredients. I can't read any of them. I don't know any of them. So I started to Google, research about those, and just realize what we've been putting on our body. You know, it is more dangerous than eating. Mm. At least eating, you've got the digest, the mm. digestive system to, you know, get rid of things that your body don't need. But stuff that you put on your skin just absorb directly into bloodstream. Mm. So actually, it's, it's more dangerous. It's, it's, it's more important to look at the ingredient what you put on your skin. Um, so we started to go with, you only put on your skin what you can eat. Yeah, so that is like a second phase of our healthy life. Um, and then the more we talk to people, it seems that people just don't know about it. Mm -hmm. And we we'll just feel, all right, we need to deliver this message to more people. Mm -hmm. um, and then people say, all right, I know they're bad. Mm -hmm. What is better? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we also start doing our own product. Uh, but we didn't think of selling because we were still new in the field. And we said, all right, what if there are other products out there better? So we started off testing. Of course, the product had to, to pass our ingredient list. Mm -hmm. And then we started to use it to see if it is effective. Um, and then we recommend people to use it. Um, but it's not our purpose of selling the product. We want people just all we ask is read the ingredients. Make sure you know what they are before you buy, purchase, or use. Mm -hmm. and that's our, our message. And with the business, with the full-time jobs, with two kids, the garden, <laughs> and some chicken, uh, at the moment we feel a bit overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Just too much. That's why I have this trip. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm not a person that I could easily take a holiday, mm. um, especially not knowing what you're searching for. Mm. I always have the purpose, the goal, then mm. I execute. Mm. I don't normally just execute without knowing what. I'm searching for what I want. But this trip, I said, all right, what we do is good. But why are we still not happy? Still tired, mm. physically and mentally. Mm. Yeah. So I said to my husband, just let me take a week off. Um, let me you know, talk to like-minded people, and that's what I'm, and, and really, it's, it's really amazing about the law of attraction. When you on the path, everything, everyone in the same path just draw to you. Mm -hmm. You guys thought that I'm a friend of Han, no, this is my first time meeting her, mm -hmm. and talk to her, so, yeah, and I, I, when I come here, I just feel part of the family. I don't feel like a stranger, mm -hmm. you know. And I, um, and I think 
things 